With March Madness underway, some doctors are telling men to sit back and watch the games after undergoing surgery. It is a popular time for men to have a vasectomy. Get those frozen peas ready. Mandy Gaither looks at what the procedure entails and what those who undergo it should know. The madness has begun. With the first round now upon us, some men are ready to post up on the couch. Guys see this opportunity to take a couple days off, and we end up having the consultations uh, just a little more frequently than any other time of year. Dr. Peter Simbarlis with Northwestern Medicine says a vasectomy should be considered a permanent sterilization. We create an obstruction by taking a small segment of the vas deferens out so that the ejaculate no longer contains sperm. Sam Barless says the procedure takes 30 minutes or less. Patients will be under local anesthesia and afterwards will have up to four days of soreness and then a relatively rapid recovery. I'm pretty strict on the first 48 hours. I say don't do anything that makes you grunt. Two days after the procedure, there may still be some soreness, but Sam Barless says patients can be as active as they can tolerate. As with any procedure, there are some potential risks. There is a 1% chance of a lingering pain. Uh, that's called post vasectomy pain syndrome and it's treatable but certainly you'd much rather your patients end up in that 99% whose pain resolves permanently. See a doctor if there are signs of infection including redness, oozing or a fever. But Sambarlis says a patient's intimacy will not be altered. The only thing that changes is the reproductive potential. So sensation, ejaculation, orgasm, urination, hormonal function, things like testosterone are completely unchanged. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.